Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my Ferrero Favour. Um, it was actually inspired by one I saw created by the very talented Pip Todman, who is Queen Pip. Um, I think that's the name of her site. I do apologise if it's not. Um, but yeah, she did something very similar with gold um, and I thought it was fantastic. So I luckily have a little stash of chocolate in my craft room <clears throat> that I just now and again will pull out and think, OK, I now have a Ferrero, let's make something for it, or um, a chocolate bar, let's make something for it. And yes, it is pretty amazing that it still sits there to this day and it's not depleted by me keep eating it. Um, but yeah, so I saw that she'd made one and I thought, right, let's have a go. So I grabbed my Ferrero Rocher and I measured and came up with my own measurements, but the idea is exactly the same as Pip Todman's, but it's so cute and I thought it was lovely and it would make a great favour sat on a table, <clears throat> especially with the little hearts on. Alternatively, you could change up the paper um, and maybe make it for a party or something like that. You could put some numbers on or something, but yeah, but it is quite cute and I thought I'd show you how I did it. So to start off with then, we need a strip of cardstock that is two inches by eight inches in length and that is five centimetres by 20.5. We're then going to do some scoring. So we first we're going to score at one inch, which is 2.5 centimetres, then three and a quarter, four and three quarters, and seven inches which in centimeters then will be 2.5 8.2 12 and 17.8 that's gone a little bit wonky there oh my goodness that's not so good is it okay so once we've done that bit we then need to bring in our scalloped tag topper punch which i think is lovely and on both ends um, we're literally going to punch however <clears throat> don't go in and go all the way to the top I literally brought it down a fraction just so the paper is just visible above the top scallop there it will sit straight because the card is two inches so it will fit in here nicely so you only have to worry about getting that top bit done and again if you can see here that's how thin that bit is. So I'm just going to spin it round and do exactly the same the other end and sometimes if you get it that thin, oh crumbs, you will actually find that it will either a break in half or will just come into pieces. But that is that part done. So then we're just going to fold these two centre score lines here. because the top ones actually will go the wrong way because they will go together like so and then once you've got your Ferrero inside it will give it a slightly bulgier shape so that's that part done super simple so we're just then going to make the little tray for the fr <coughs> excuse me terrible fro uh, frog in my throat these last few days so now we're going to make the little box that the Ferrero sits in, which sits in the bottom of here. And this is two and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. And we're going to score at three eighths of an inch on all four sides. So it's actually 5.7 by seven centimetres. And you're going to score at one centimetre on all four sides. So just go round. making the little box and then as you do with any box regardless of size we're just going to burnish and then cut those little wedges out to create our little tabs so again just cut on the little four corners our little wedges just cut 
cut them out so they look nice and then I literally just use some snail because this whisper white is not that thick not as thick as the coloured cardstock um, so it's a little easier to work with and then as you can see I'm literally just folding those little tabs in and adhering to the inside and there's my little tray so now we need to get a one and three eighths of an inch scallop circle and this will literally be the same width as your punch okay so you don't need to worry about centralizing because you can literally just put it in and then rest your fold at the side and you've pretty much got the center in terms of the top and the bottom the next thing you simply need to do is just eyeball where the center is and just punch it out and then we're going to do exactly the same with the other side so again put it in make sure it's lined up and I'm going with that one whoops okay so my two circles are punched out we can now decorate everything up so I have the all my love DSP which is just beautiful um, and it's the same one that I used on this one so to put the insert in your tray you simply need a piece that is uh, one and a half by two inches minus a tiny shim because it won't fit if you do exactly that size it won't fit so you just take a slither off just not even a sixteenth of an inch half of a sixteenth of an inch and just take that off there and then just stick that in the bottom and that sticks on and then I'm going to pop snail or whatever adhesive you want to use on the bottom of the box and then this will just sit inside just nicely in the bottom there so it fits as a little basket and then we need to decorate the fronts and sides so you will need four strips of DSP that are three eighths of an inch or one centimeter by two inches which is five centimeters and these ones are going across the bottom here front and back and across the top and if like me you get a tiny bit that just I don't know if you can see that just a tiny little slither that overhangs just simply trim it okay so that's that side done do this side as well let's go a bit there look and then another piece across the bottom yeah okay so that's that bit done so front and back we have these cute little strips and then we're just going to add two to the sides here and these ones are one and three eighths by one and a half so one centimeter by 3.8 so it's a tiny tiny measurement but again as you can see I'm just using snail and sticking them on the sides of the boxes then my lovely chocolate again just a glue dot on the bottom to just stick in place and then I have not much left of the beautiful flirty flamingo all my love uh, from all my love ribbon combo and I'm actually when I tie this up I found the best way is to use a peg because trust me when you're trying to fight against this 
and the um, and trying to hop, fold, make a bow it's just a nightmare so use a peg or a clip or something just to hold that or a friend or a relative to hold it just whilst you do your bow and we'll see how disastrous this bow turns out come on come on don't do this to me come on thank you right so have a little play around with this bow actually again just for a change it's not too bad and as we joke all the time I'll just spend three hours now fiddling but actually no that's quite nice so I'm just going to take the ends off there so there's my bow and then last but not least do you remember the Be Mine stitched framelits in fact I didn't get them out silly me let me just grab them wherever I put them or did I get them out already no I didn't what have I done with those just talk among yourselves for a minute while I find them oh here they are silly me so do you remember the stitch framelits and I said to you that I kept all of my hearts from this I still have these beautiful lattice lattice type hearts here but I also kept them in a spare um, embellishment pot and so um, I still have plenty of those left so I'm going with let's have a little look so I want a large red heart and a smaller flamerty flamerty <laughs> flamingo and then literally just a glue dot on the back of them I'm just going to grab my piercing tool so the lovely lipstick can go there and the flirty flamingo that I clearly can't pronounce today oh crumbs come on don't stick don't stick in there come on <laughs> it's actually gone can you see look it's gone in there of all the places for it to go come on out ah there we go managed to get it stick the flirty flamingo which is clearly going to be a bugbear today just there and there we have them my cute little Ferrero favours all thanks to Pip Todman hope you like them hope it inspires you hope you have a wedding or a party that you can make these for or even just a lunch or a dinner aren't they cute anyway hope to see you all again soon have a great day bye